Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Goldstein, a researcher at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center. For the last five years, I've been working on a research study investigating the link between chronic inflammation and increased prostate cancer risk. The prostate is often described as a walnut-sized gland, so we thought, what better way to represent it than with a walnut? Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in American men. One man in 39 will die of prostate cancer each year. We know that chronic inflammation is one of the biggest risk factors for the disease, but we still don't know why. In our study, we've now been able to show that when inflammatory cells come into the prostate, those prostate cells that are nearby behave very differently than they would normally. Using human patient tissue, we devised a strategy to take cells from areas with inflammation and compare them to cells from normal areas. When we looked at the cells that lined the gland in areas with inflammation, we discovered that there were five times as many cells that could divide and expand than there were in areas without inflammation. This ability to divide and expand makes these cells capable of responding to genetic changes and going on to develop into cancer. This study gives us a new understanding of why chronic inflammation in the prostate is a bad thing, because it increases the number of cells that are at risk for forming cancer. More research is needed on the topic, but there is evidence that exercise, certain foods, even mindfulness-based stress reduction can reduce inflammation. I'm hopeful that, based on this evidence, men in their 30s, 40s, or 50s might consider strategies to minimize inflammation with the goal of trying to prevent or delay prostate cancer. To learn more about cancer research, visit Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center on the web at cancer.ucla.edu.